Gustavo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. You? Thank you. Only, only me in the class. Yeah, the first time, Gustavo. The first time. It's great. And how was your day, Gustavo? My day is very, very fast because in the world, I make my. When I, how do you say, Sally? I left. Uh, okay, and my work I left at two p.m. Pardon, sorry, three p.m. for the for the. Uh, how do you say partido? Ah, uh, the game. For the game, for the game, the selecta versus Mexico. And then, uh, así que, yo genial. You left because you you wanted to see the game. No, no, no. In the work, uh, the human recourse, I don't say. Okay. <laughs> human resource? Human resource. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to the finish at, to, at 3 p.m. for the traffic. Ah, uh, okay. You, you work near the stadium, Gustavo? Yes, for the... Um, for the Galaxy Bowl uh, in the Scarlet. And where is the game? In the Stadio Sultan. Uh-huh. And... I'm confused because you are very, very far from uh, Stadio Cuscaclan. It's for the traffic because in the previous game, mm -hmm. the people, I arrived at her house at 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m. for the oh, traffic. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, so the traffic is... Ah, because the people have to go to this area. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I understand. And today is good for you then. Did you finish the work early? Yes. The, the day is very fast. I wow. love this day. Nice. Nice. Good idea. Mm hmm Okay, perfect. Let's see the other partner. Uh, Ana Beatriz, how was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. My Hello. day. Um, so, so. Oh, what happened? Um, it's okay. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. What happened today, Ann? Um. I was not very busy. Mm -hmm. uh, not very busy. Not very. Okay, okay. It feel very long today. Uh, do you like do you like when you are busy, Anna? Yeah. The day is, is fast, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, when you are not busy, the day is slowly, slowly. Mm. Okay. And Anna, did you finish work early today? Lesson four. No, 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 your work. Did you finish working early today? Uh, yeah, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. This is 
normal, seven o'clock. Yeah. Okay. So it's not early, it's the normal time. Mm, uh, sometime I... ¿Cómo se dice salir? I leave. Uh -huh, I leave um, five. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Five p.m. Uh, <laughs> Twist a week. Tuesday a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tuesday and? Uh, no. No. It's a specific day. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Any day? Mm -hmm, any day. Okay. Good. Depend the work. Oh, teacher, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine too. I am. I'm little sad. Why? Because the selector is loses. <laughs> okay. Is losing. Is losing. losing. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And who is selector playing? Uh, with Mexico. Mm, I imagine the stadium is full. Yep. Okay. All right, then. Uh, I thousand don't... is meal, right? Thousand. A thousand, correct. The stadium is approximately 35,000 per people. Ah, it's a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They say a lot of a lot of sick with COVID nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. It's good. It's good to have it. Well, maybe at Salvador wins. You don't know. But, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo digo? I said, maybe El Salvador wins. Mm, I don't know. Do you think El Salvador wins? No. I don't know, teacher, because the soccer is, is different. It's different. I don't know. No sé cómo explicarle. No okay. Puede ser. <laughs> It's different. The soccer is different, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are going to go ahead and continue. Today, we're going to look the past of B. Do you remember the past of B? We have two forms in the past. Was the word. Was and were. Excellent. We use was and were in the past. Okay. When do we use was? When is was correct? Which people do we use was? I... Third person. Third person. Very good, Jocelyn. Uh, is he was, she was, it was, and I was. These are the four so i was he was she was it was and the other are were you were they were we were okay we're going to watch a little video to have more information hi everyone in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of b additionally we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. 
Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was seventeen. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Okay. Yes, that is the correct formula. But why do we use was or were? Do you know why we use was or were? Okay, I put in the chat, I help you. We use was or were, okay, or we use the verb to be to describe professions, places, or descriptions, okay? So we use it for the verb to be, the was or the were, okay? in the past these are the ones in the past as an example uh, i think jocelyn is at work correct jocelyn are you at work yes teacher okay so as an example in the past i can say mm, jocelyn or the the one for the place, Jocelyn was at work. This is one form, okay? Teacher, it's true that the next verb is with ing. If you have two verbs, yes, but we don't have two verbs. We only have the verb to be, okay? For example, I was playing. Correct, but... I was playing, you need the time. It's a different time. It's not simple past. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. we have, for example, the three. And I'm going to use the three example. Okay. When we use the verb to be, we use the verb to be for places. For example, Jocelyn was at work. Jocelyn was a... In Santa Ana, Josie was in, I don't know, San Miguel for places. The two, we use it for descriptions. Josie was very tired. Josie was uh, very happy. Josie was uh, excited for descriptions. Or we use in the third form, the verb to be, for professions. Josie was a student. Josie was an accountant, Josie was a teacher, Josie was a doctor. So we have three forms for or three usage for the verb to be. We use for professions or jobs, we use for places or locations, and we use for descriptions or adjectives. Okay, let's continue watching the video to understand how we make it. Here we can see the correct way how to make the sentences. Finally, we will include a compliment. Born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. 
Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with B. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with B. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject day. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Hi everyone. So we can see the correct way. We can make positive or negatives, right? Here, with our partners, we are going to practice which is correct, was or were. This is the first part. This is for 5.2. We're going to practice with our partner the was or were. Adela, with he, do we use he was or he were? Um, he was? Very good, Adela. Okay. Paola, with you, you was or you were? Teacher, repeat. Yes. Uh, with you? With, with you, do we say you was or you were? I was with you, with the pronoun you. You was or were? Uh-huh, which one is correct, Paola? Were. You were, very good, very good. Eric, with they, is they was or they were? Is they were. Okay, excellent. Like the example with your partners, now you're going to complete. Here, you look, you read, you put the correct form. Is was or were, wasn't or weren't. So you read and now with your partner, we're going to complete, okay? We have three minutes to complete the activity in the chat, in, the, in our groups, okay? So, one more. Any questions? Okay, let's go with our groups. Paola, Eric, you are you okay? Paola, are you okay? There you go.
Okay. Let's take a look and check to see if we have the correct answer. What is the first one? My family and I? Where? What? Okay, good. We? Weren't. Weren't. Mm -hmm. Good. I? Was. 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 Mm -hmm. My parents? Was. Oh, I hear two words. Weren't. 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 Uh, okay. okay. They weren't. They were. 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 They were. In South Korea, my father was. 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 Hey, great job, guys. Excellent work. As you can see, we have all of those correctly. We only we need was for he, she, it, and I. And I, exactly. And the others are were. Any questions? No, teacher. Oh, okay, great. Now we're going to learn how to ask and answer questions in the past. And in the past with the verb to be. So let's watch a little video about how to make questions. Remember, it's very easy. It's like the sentence, only we change the name, only we change it. So here we change the position. So. I, uh, she was born in South Korea. And the question was she, only this. But we're going to watch the video and learn. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay. So first, the important is we see the difference in the questions. In the questions with where or was, the answer only yes or no, right? Were you? Ah, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay. Was your brother? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. But with questions with where, when, what, or why, we don't have yes, no. We have a sentence, a complete explanation. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, 
we need to include the verb to be in the past where after that we need to add the subject you finally we need to add a complement and a question mark born now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays similar to the examples on the chart after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forum okay so we're gonna practice that but first is this it, it's okay how to make the questions yeah teacher okay so we're gonna try right we're gonna ask our partners ah were you born in san miguel were you born in la union were your parents born in 1962 uh, when was your mother born where where were you born? Where were your parents born? We're going to try these about our family, okay? WH questions and the yes, no questions. Okay? Yep. Okay. So remember, we want to ask, we are going to ask questions. It, we continue, we continue. We are going to practice for five minutes. So with five minutes, we are going to practice with our partner to make different questions. questions with the past of B. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906, 1917, 1999, 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where? Next, we need to include the subject you, Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the U.S. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, 
similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, now let's see, let's see if you understood and we have the correct answers. This is 5.5, the knowledge check, okay? Let's try the different answers, okay? Where were you born? What is going to be the answer? Where were you born? I was born. Look, look at the options. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Where do you think? I where were you born? In, in Hiroshima, Hiroshima, Japan. Mm -hmm. Okay, in Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Okay. How was your first day of school? I wanted to improve my English. Maybe we, we tried. Who was your friend in school? No, 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 teacher. The last, mm -hmm. the last is a, it was a little scary. It was a little scary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And who was your first friend in school? Her name. Your name was Yumiko. Okay. And what was he or she like? She was really friendly. She was really friendly. She was really friendly. Okay. And what did you take this class? Why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. Hey, hey excellent. Those are all the correct answers for the platform exercise 5.5 any questions teacher yes can you explain again in what case we use a uh, was and where please yes we use was and where is for professions for places or for descriptions professions for example um, in the verb to be i am a teacher i was a student i was uh, an engineer i for professions the two for places 
I was in El Tunco, I was in Santa Ana, I was in San Miguel, I was in La Union, I was at work for places, number two. And number three is for descriptions. I was angry, I was happy, I was excited. These are the three. And we use it for, as an example, when you are born, okay? We use it for, uh, where were you born? I was born, okay? This is the other ones. So the three, one more time, number one, okay, for professions. Number two, locations. Number three, descriptions. It's okay? It's okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Good question, good question. Any other questions? Okay, then let's continue. Now we're going to practice pronunciation. How to sound natural, okay? Natural with the contractions. Because in English, it's very common to use contractions. Teacher. Yes. Another question. Yes. In this case, we don't use uh, irregular and regular verbs. No, because the verb to be is the verb. No other verb. It's okay, Jen? Okay, teacher. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. So, for example, in the present, Jocelyn, how are you? Ah, I am fine. I am okay. I am. Uh, this is the verb to be. In the past is I was okay. I was fine. I was. Uh, Jocelyn, where are you? Uh, I am at work. Uh, the verb to be, I am. In the past, I was at work. Okay, that's why no other verb. It's only for those. Those three. Profession, location, description. Now let's look at the pronunciation. Let's listen for the pronunciations. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't. Doesn't, didn't. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's listen. Okay, listen and repeat. Aren't, aren't, weren't, weren't, don't, weren't, weren't. go ahead. Yes, yes, don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. Good. Can't. 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 Okay. Can't. Good. Now, isn't. 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 Mm -hmm. Wasn't. Wasn't. Good. Wasn't. Doesn't. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Didn't. Wasn't. Didn't. 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 Yeah. Good. So now let's continue watching the video and learn the pronunciation in sentences. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. 
He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay. Let's try one more time. Okay. Here we have. Let's go to make sure everybody is correct. All right. Ana Beatriz, you first. Read the read the eight words. Okay. Aren't. Don't. Weren't. Can't. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Good, Anna. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Adela. Okay. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Good. Very good, Adela. Eric. Tell me. Read the eight words. Uh, aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Okay. Good. Good. Jocelyn, read the eight words. Okay. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Good, Jocelyn. Very good. Paola. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, can't isn't, doesn't, what's, what's not. Wasn't. How do you think? Wasn't. 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 Did it. Okay. Good, Paula. Gustavo. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Okay. Good. Good, Gustavo. Uh, and Dora. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, uh, wasn't, does, doesn't, didn't. Okay, very good. And the last one I think is Eduardo. Eduardo? Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't it didn't okay nice nice that's how we pronounce the contractions is the normal form is not normal is not is not normal are not is normal aren't weren't okay now we're going to learn how to use wh questions with did was or were and what is the difference so we're going to see when we use did, when is was, and when is were, okay? Here, we are looking in the past. In the past, if you have a verb or if you have an action, is did. Did is with action. No action is was or were, okay? This is the main idea. In questions in past, did with actions. Was and were no actions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting.
Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in... Okay. For this one, it's not necessary to listen. The important is to understand. Did with actions. For example, here we have grow. We have come and we have become. The three are actions. In questions, we use did and the action. The answer, only the verb in past. I grew up in Texas. I came to Los Angeles in 1990 because I needed the money, okay? But if it's no action, is was or were. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. 18, no action, right? What was your major in college? The major, no action. Is the, it was drama. How was college? It was great. Mm, college, no action. So this no action was or were. Is that okay? So, so? It's okay, teacher. Okay. So remember, how do we make the questions? We use WH word. We use did for this one, for the 30. Did plus subject, you. Okay. The verb in the present and the complement. Okay. But if it's not with actions or not verbs, Okay, then we use the verb to be. And the verb to be is the same, WH word, but was or were the subject, but no action, only the complement, only the complement. Okay, so no, that one's not correct. Let me see. Ah, so for example, that one. What was your major Question mark in at the end. In college. Okay. You can see here, your major is not an action. Is uh, what is your career? The idea is what is your career? Accounting, doctor, medicine, teacher. What major? Sorry. That is the example. The, the, the career in the university, a doctor, a nurse, ah, engineer. Okay. Mm-hmm. These are the different ones. Okay. It's okay the difference when we use did, was, and were? We have did, was, and were. Okay. So with our partners, we are going to practice the four questions here. You put the questions in the correct order. What is the correct order, okay? For example, born where you were, no, it's not correct. Let's try, grow up, you did where, is not correct. What is the correct way? Where did you grow up? You grow up. Okay, good, where did you grow up? Grow, grow. Okay, what about number two? In the year 2000, old were you how? How were you? How? How were you? Were you? Mm -hmm. In the year 2000. Okay, in the year 2000. Okay, number three, begin to study English when did you? 
When did you, when did you, when did you begin? Begin to study English. Begin to study English. Okay. And number four, you born when where? When were you born? When were you born? Uh -huh. to born. Perfect. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay, now with your partner, you are going to practice. You are going to make six questions and six answers. One question, where did? One question, when did? One question, why did? One question, how old were? What was and how was? So you are going to have with your partner, Six questions, okay? Six questions and then six answers. I put in the chat in case you want to see. Let me take a picture and then I put in the chat and then we practice. Let me try it like this. All right, you ready? Okay, so let's go in our partners. We are going to make the groups six questions. Remember, six questions from the activities that are there. All right, Eduardo, I send you to the group to practice.
Okay, any questions? No, teacher. It's okay now? Remember, did for actions, was and were no actions. Okay. No questions? No teacher, clean like water. Excellent, excellent. Okay, then we stop and tomorrow we continue and we practice more speaking in the past with did, was, and were. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. teacher. Right. Thank you for coming to class and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.